Okay, so where we're going to start off is probably the most basic and foundational place, which is your research. You need to know what keywords, keywords being the phrases that people type in, in order to find what you are specifically talking about or addressing. So. A keyword, for example, if you're within the sporting niche, if you happen to talk about basketball, kind of like I love, then you're going to want to think, find things like how to shoot, how to dribble, dribble exercises. Those are keywords within the sports industry niche, especially pertaining to basketball. However, you don't want to include keywords something like NASA solar launch or, you know, mission to Mars or how to make a thousand dollars this month. Whatever it is, it needs to be a keyword or phrase, of course, that relates to your industry very specifically. They're just descriptive details. And I know some of you may be thinking, well, Zach, I already know what a keyword is. If you don't, I'm not surprised. And if you do, I'm also not surprised. There's a very wide divide between people who understand some of these little key phrases and what they really mean. So that's what a keyword is. Now, actually getting into how to find your keywords may seem a little hard at first, but what you're going to have to do is get a Gmail account and sign up for an AdWords. And then once you do, you're just going to go into Google and type keyword planner. Once you do, keyword planner is going to be one of the first tools popping up right here. Again, it's going to ask you to sign in. Once you do, you're going to arrive at this URL. All right, it's KO keyword planner forward slash home. It's going to have a page just like this. It's been like this for many years. I doubt it'll change. If it does, it's the idea of all you're going to do is type in some generic keywords. So for example, I want to talk more about what I do. I do SEO, email marketing, online marketing. Any of these are just a few phrases that you need to type in, including I'm going to do ZachMiller.com, which is my website. If you don't want to, that's quite all right, especially if you have a newer website. I don't suggest doing that for keyword research. There we go. Because what a website's going to do is it's going to populate everything that Google has seen you for most dramatically, which may be things like new WordPress website or new theme or you know just your brand name. Whereas when you type in these keywords, they're gonna bring up all of the interconnected ideas between email marketing, SEO, online marketing, make money online, things like that. As you can see, they're sorting by relevance here. So all of these things are showing you your average searches a month. So it's not saying exactly what you're going to get, but you can start to determine, hey, um, if I were to rank page one for advertising agency, then I'm going to get somewhere between 10,000 and 100,000 clicks every single month. Now, that may seem like a really great thing, but in fact, you're going to do a little bit more research and start finding the average competition for these keywords. And if you want, you can either do it through free tools or paid tools. I obviously find paid tools to be the best, but the way that we go about that will be covered in the very next section. I'll just do a quick draft overview so that way you can understand the competition, which is not actually determined right here because that competition refers to Google's AdWords campaigns. And AdWords means I'm paying Google, maybe, you know, as you can see, 900, nine, I'm sorry, $9.50 per click in order to get that page one placement. And the competition for people bidding on that keyword is medium, which means, you know, if you bid 950, you'll probably rank on the third or second position of page one, which is great, but it can get very expensive, 100 clicks in, Bam, you just spent $1,000. Did you make your money back? I sure hope so. So you have to be really um, agile in what you choose. And it kind of also gives you an idea of what the value of ranking page one is like. If you were to rank page one for advertising agency and you were getting 10,000 clicks a month, if you were trying to pay Google to do that, well, guess what? You would end up paying them $100,000 a month. So you can see being page one for this one keyword can be very valuable to your entire business. But that's not where we're going after. We're not really gonna be going after these larger terms because oftentimes they've been heavily inflated, especially in the SEO realm, by other companies fighting or vying for that position. So we wanna find usually keywords a thousand searches or less. These are called long tail keywords, which usually consist of something like how to make money with online marketing rather than just the online marketing part. See, it's once you get basically over three words 
that's going to be considered long tail. It's a phrase, it's a question, it's multiple keywords together. And it's that which brings up a specific topic or pain point that people want addressed. And the more that you can write articles around these specific pain points and these specific long tail phrases, the higher your chances are of ranking inside the search engines. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move over and we're going to just go ahead and drive in a few different ideas. We're going to download all of these. We're going to say yes, download, and that's going to give us 700 different keywords for us to choose from, which is a heck of a lot. And I'm going to quickly go in that inside this lecture right now and just kind of give you a quick overview of what this will end up looking like and how you can kind of organize it. It'll look like a mess at first. What you want to do is hold the control button. I believe on Mac, it's Apple, the Apple key, and you're going to want to select everything there and delete these and what that's going to do is leave you with just your keywords your average monthly searches your competition which actually only refers to AdWords so again this isn't what the real competition is in reality organically this would be a 99 out of a hundred for competition but since it's AdWords again it's only 53 so you can get rid of that, but keep the suggested bid so you can kind of see a rough estimate of what it would be worth to you to rank page one for these keywords. Again, ranking page one for SEO, you're gonna get about 100,000 clicks a month, and if each click is worth an average of what people pay, $15, then, well, you're gonna have probably about a million dollar business ranking page one for SEO. And of course, that's really is true. You know, there's uh, just a few big companies that rank for all of these huge mega t keywords and they make a buco bucks. So what you're gonna probably end up doing is coming more or less down to here and you see these 10 to 100s, you're gonna be finding these keywords and probably going after them. Even some of these um, 100 to 1000 keywords are okay. But when you start getting into these, you know, 10K, 100K, uh, you know, 100K, all these, that's pretty big. That's kind of competitive. So again, you wanna go after long tail phrases, you wanna go after the least competitive, and that's going to give you the most chance to not only rank higher, but the more specific that you are to someone and what they're searching inside these search engines, the more likely you are to convert on that pain point that you're addressing within the article we're going to write.